Hi, Eric. Sure, man. Um, there's been two statements from United today. First of all, Anthony, what are your thoughts on the decision to allow him back to train and to play? And are you worried it might be a distraction? Uh, yes, uh, we make the statement. So I refer to the statement. I think everything is uh, we made clear in the statement. And no, I don't think it's a distraction. Uh, we focus on the games and he will do as well. The other statement regarded Lissandro Martinez. How frustrating is that for you and your injury list? Is it? Has it? Is there any improvements? Anyone back for tomorrow? Oh, we have seen some players back on um, on Tuesday, and for tomorrow are back uh, the players who are out of the squad for uh, for Tuesday: uh, Scott McTominay, Christian Eriksen. Uh, they are back. Eric, just in terms of. Um, Anthony, did you have to think before you brought him back into the squad? People will have opinions about whether he should be there or not. I think we explained it in the statement, so I will and keep referring to that. And injuries, you're not the only club who's got a lot of injuries at the moment. Um, next season, the Champions League expands. There's the new Club World Cup coming in as well. There's more and more demands on, on players. How, how do you deal with that? Is it a bigger squad? Is it limiting the number of play, games players play? How, how do you look after the players? Oh, we already did. We already expanded the squad uh, this season because uh, the, you make the reason clear. Uh, we had a World Cup in the, in, in, um, uh, in the middle of the season. We had so a longer season we had to play a longer season as well, FA Cup, then uh, Nations League games, then so a shorter break. Um, yeah, so, uh, and every time uh, the shadow is expanding and the load on the players is just yeah, too much. Uh, it's such a great overload. But yeah, many colleagues of me are already pointing to that. And I have pointed to that uh, as well. Uh, but yeah, it, it kept going. Uh, we keep expanding uh, the shadow, but yeah, anywhere it will stop, uh, then players uh, will uh, will yeah, can't deal anymore with this overload, and that is, I think, what you see across many squads in this moment. Eight. Eric, the statement on Anthony doesn't say when he'll resume training and when he'll become available. Can you give us any clarity on, on the time scale on his fitness levels? On Saturday, he will be back in the training. So tomorrow. And you, you, you're comfortable with his, his fitness levels? <laughs> I have to see, but I think, yeah. And I guess a lot of your fans will think you've got clarity on one player, the other player who's obviously been in the headlines recently, Jaden Sancho. Is there no chance of any progress with that at this stage? Are you not tempted to maybe seek a little bit of clarity with him having sorted one player out? Uh, you, many of you <laughs> ask me so often these questions and I have said everything. How long, how long can that situation go on for that? Uh, well, I said, I said everything. Okay. Richard. I just want to ask you about Sofian Amrabat. He had a really impressive debut on Tuesday. Um, what do you think his greatest asset is? Is it his technical ability or is it his energy and his stamina? Yeah, he, as you say, he has more abilities. And uh, you, you need, as a player, um, on the highest level, you need a bigger skill set than only one. But I think his, yeah, his stamina, his dynamics... Um, yeah, that is, I think, one of his biggest. And just on um, against Burnley, you only had 38% possession. That seems quite a small amount, especially with your history at Ajax of always having the ball. Do you think United need to have more possession and how important is Amrabat to that aim? Oh, you don't always have... Uh, you need not, not always so much possession to have control in the game. Uh, because I think across Burnley, we had across the whole... A game with control in the game but um, yeah I prefer to have it like against Crystal Palace uh, um, As some injuries coming back to Scott you have more options for Scott um, 
uh, in th these two games, you gave some opportunities to the young players like Hannibal Plastery and also Goyle um, play his debut and Spurs. In the future, um, with even more tighter fixture, will these players have this harm? Depends on their performances, on the, so on the levels, what they show, if they can contribute uh, to a winning team. And it's only about that. Eh? You, uh, you play the team, eh? you make the selection based on uh, the opportunity you win games. Okay. Uh, Hi Eric, how different will this game against Crystal Palace be to the one you played in the EFL Cup? Because the, the, the playing squads will be different, the starting 11s will be different. And what are you expecting from them this Saturday? Yeah, oh, definitely. I think both sides will be different. And, but um, we got belief from it. Uh, but I know uh, the opponent uh, is looking for revenge, clear, and uh, that will, will be their fuel. And in terms of just going on the young players, you mentioned on Tuesday night that the young players have shown you in training that they deserve to get the shirt. How important is that going to be during this period when you have got a number of injuries? Uh, you see it already. When you have players, when you so develop players, you, uh, you see the progress that it can help you to tough uh, situations. But also, uh, it's good uh, for, for the club uh, to develop such players and for the players as well to get, uh, to get into professional football, to get into professional top football. And yeah, so great. I like it uh, to, to develop young players. Uh, but as you said, uh, the mentality has to be right. Hey, you have to deserve the bets, and every time you have to prove it. Hey, and on every occasion, so training, but uh, especially on games.